Bert here with Channel 7 News, and it is Art Week this week here in Charlotte. Today, a local man brushes his shoulders off after attempting to determine what he believed to be an original Captain DuPont. Let's connect with our very own Brenda Bradley, who is doing an interview with said hopeful man right now. Brenda. Good evening, Bert. I'm here with Mr. Alex T., who's agreed to share his experience with us today. Alex, you found this in your mother's attic, correct? What leads you to believe it's really an original piece? Well, I happened to be cleaning out my mother's attic last week when I stumbled upon this painting. I you happened to be a art major back in college, and I thought these brush strokes remind me of something Catherine DuPont might paint. And if you look closely, there are actually quite a few similarities. I agree. But with so many people bringing their art to submission for this year's art contest, don't take it too harsh, okay? Back to you, Bert. Thank you, Brenda. And while we're on the subject of art, I have with us a local art historian, Dr. Marsh. Now, Dr. Marsh, how would an average art spectator like myself differentiate the original portrait or painting from a copy or a fake? Good afternoon, Charlotte, and thank you, Bert, for having me. That's a great question, and the honest answer is that it does take years of studying this kind of material to really even start to have an idea as to whether or not a particular piece of artwork is original you'd have to get to know the artist. And that's entirely credited to the fact that the art, much like its creator, constantly changes through time. For example, you can see here that Alex was not wrong to assume that this painting was a Catherine DuPont original based on the brushwork alone. DuPont was known for using a stippling technique, which resulted in a very unique visual effect in every detail on her painting. See here? However, later in her career, Catherine DuPont used a straighter approach with her line work. During that time, she had moved on to creating what is now known as her collection of the damned portfolio, which was nothing but portraits. If this were truly an original, it would show something more simple. For instance, some sort of vacant, discreet landscape that was her signature style in her earlier career. Another defined signature of Catherine DuPont is a single red dot painted on the corner of the canvas. Now the dot itself is never included on the painting, but on the border of the canvas. There's a little fun fact for you that would be a rare find. That right there is a very little known fact. You see, artists tend to hide little Easter eggs in their artwork, even ones that may not be noticeable to the common viewers. All right, well, thank you for coming on with us today, Dr. Marsh, and clearing up some of those questions for us. Of course, thank you for having me. And just in case there are any Charlotte art supporters out there who also believe they may be in possession of any historical works of art, I encourage you to call the CCAC. The last successful reveal took place back in 2014 when Peter Houston turned in an original Claude Monet. He walked away with roughly $300,000 about a week later and who knows, maybe you could too. Take care, Bert. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you still need that number, we have it right here for you for a moment longer. When we return, we'll hear from the chief of police about staying safe in large crowded areas and events this week. Out of these messages.